were, you were. Okay, you were so you have a personal problem. What have I done? Personal problem? What have I done? Listen, you know what you've done. Don't even try. What have I done? You know what you've done. What have I done? See, you're lying. I'm lying. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? There you go. You don't you know just what you've done. Scene. Listen, don't make, don't, what have I'm I done? causing a scene. What have you I'm done? causing a scene when you're the liar. Okay, what have I done? Listen, you know what you've done. Exactly. I don't need to explain. Sister, I don't need to explain. Sister, sister, no, sister, sister, no, sister, 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 this shouldn't be gone. Exposed anyone. That's your job. You're the one who's out. Exposed so and so. What have I done? You tell me what have I done. You know what you've done. What have I done? Just move away from me, man. Why are you here? Sister, you're here. Nobody's following you. Nobody's following you. Sister, you're a psychological problem. And I need to come. Listen, this guy. Go. Go. What do you mean, go? I was in my way. I was in my way. I'm here. Go. Come over to me. Sister, go. You always do that. Why do you follow me? Why do you want to follow me? Why would I need to follow you? Why would I need to follow you? Why would I need to follow you? You're married. You're married. You're married. You're married. Okay, guys, I just saw Ali Dawa. He's going to that shop. I'm going to follow him and I'm going to question him on what he did to me. I'm going to confront him now and he's going to answer for what he did to me. I'm following you. Why following you? Because you know what you did to me. You know what you did what to did me. I do? You what know did? what you did to me. You didn't give me dawa. Dawa. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome to this video. You saw the drama, you saw the action, you saw the sick editing. Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, let's get a bit serious. Let's understand the full story. Who is this sister? Why did she approach me? Why was there such an accusation made? Why was this video that was done a year and a half ago, that was uh, published by somebody to get it viral but it didn't, but a group of brothers, uh, certain brothers who sadly belong to a certain group who always are known to attack the Muslims, reignited this. Why did they do that? Why did they share this information, a, 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 a accusation, an allegation? We're going to talk about the severity of slander. Brothers and sisters, please watch this in full to understand the full story. How Muhammad Hijab plays a role in what's happened, all of this. Where did this all begin? So we can give it a context. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to get straight into it, inshallah. Let's talk about the severity of slander brothers and sisters this is very very key for us yeah it's very important because you see i do uber once i picked up a woman from the hospital with her colleague her friend and all the way in the journey obviously i can hear the conversation she was crying and you know i was trying to understand why is she crying why is she so distressed and she was saying that i can hear that in the workplace there was a rumor going this woman had a boyfriend and basically in the workplace on the hospital people were giving rumors that she and another guy were kind of liking each other and she was very disturbed by this and rightly so why because it's a slander it's not true why are you saying something or making it seem like somebody's done something that they haven't and it's big it's, it's very very severe in the sight of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sheikh salah al-fawzan has got a whole book on jurisprudence about slander how you deal with it and the person that does it what's the punishment islamically the punishment is 80 lashes yes 80 lashes brothers and sisters and this is has to be done publicly and that person's testimony should never be taken and in order for it to be executed the person that they slandered has to be brought forth and the permission has to be asked do you forgive them or should we punish them etc yeah in my specific instance yeah with this situation happening me personally I would personally want this person um, whipped. Why? Because it's my right. Because I'm I'm a public figure. Not that I'm anything special, but I'm in the scene. To damage my reputation, it's not me. It's not about me. You're making Islam and a person who's a Muslim, somebody who's you know doing dawah, and you're damaging the whole dawah. So it's not something minute. And it's not something that should be forgiven. It should be done and dealt with severely. However, now, <coughs> me personally, I've done a video three four years ago where a french girl in france in france was accused there was a video going about that seemed like it was her and she was being accused of fornicating 
And you know what this girl did? She threw herself out the window and killed herself. I had to do a documentary traveling to France, going to the ghettos, being chased by road guys, yeah? Because we wanted to cover to what happened to the sister, to even build a water well for Sadaqa Jaria, because it was, it was a slander. And we was questioning people about the video. And they were like, some people were like, yeah, it was her. And I'm thinking, what do you mean it was her, bruv? How are you saying that so casually? You are the reason why this girl killed herself. And you're here telling me that, and the video is there. You can see the video, brothers and sisters, that I did. You can see it for yourself. And it was sad. A person took their life because of this. And we're going to come to Surah Nur, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down revelation to defend Aisha radiallahu anha. The same brothers who are spreading this video as a slant against me, who attacked the Rafida, yeah, certain extreme Shia groups, yeah, who accused the Prophet's wife, peace be upon him, and they're falling into the same thing of slandering a believer just as they did, yeah? So I went there and did that documentary. Why? To emphasize on it. Recently, there's been another case, I cannot remember the name of the sister in Palestine. A rumor was spread about her, and this rumor caused her to be killed. Can you imagine these people standing in front of, on the day of judgment? The blood of a Muslim is more dearer than the Kaaba. And you played a role in that innocent sister who was looking to get married. You accused and slandered her that she got killed. And many people lose their life or destroy them mentally, psychologically of the lie that you're spreading. Let's go to Surah Nur, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, And those who accuse chase women and do not produce four witnesses because a woman's dignity is more is, is, is bigger than a man's because it's very clear Allah, Allah is saying we shouldn't stand above male or females but here and those who accuse chase women and then do not produce four witnesses lash them with 80 lashes and do not accept from them testimony ever after and those are defiantly disobedient except for those who repent thereafter and return and, and reform for indeed Allah is forgiven merciful and then Allah SWT says, Indeed, those who came with the falsehood are, are a group amongst you. Yeah? There was uh, there were the uh, munafikun. Yeah? The, the munafiks. Do not think it is bad for you. Rather, it is good for you. For every person among them is what punishment he has earned from the sin. And he took upon himself the greater portion thereof. For him is a greater punishment. Why, when you heard it, did not the believing men and believing women think good of one another and say, This is an obvious falsehood. Not like those who gossip and, yeah, you know, let's find something with it. Why did they who slander not produce four witnesses? And why they and when they did not produce the witnesses, then it is they in the sight of Allah who are liars. And if it had not been for the favor of Allah upon you, his mercy, in this world and hereafter, you would have been touched for that a lie in which you were involved in a great punishment. So brother says Allah SWT was talking about that severity. Why when the believing men and women heard it, didn't say, you know what? No, 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 we stay, we free ourselves from what you're saying. And instead used it. Use it for your own purposes or slander, whatever it may be. Why? Because you wanted to marry that girl and, you know, somebody else marrying, so you spend the slander. How was the billah? When different people use it for different reasons, which we're going to come to. Who is this girl? Brothers and sisters, let's get into it, yeah? And we'll come to where this all began from and how it was uh, used, yeah? So a certain brother who has a problem with hijab and myself, but specifically hijab, um, he's used this to slander us, uh, slander me, yeah? Now, this sister, I was one day at Speaker's Corner. And I was walking around and I, and I came across a group of sisters. There was a Somalian sister and there was a blonde sister in that video you can see. And both of them can witness and vouch for what happened. Yeah, they both can vouch for it. Yeah, I was there and I saw a fake ex-Muslim as usual lying that I was a Muslim before. So I was listening to the conversation to challenge her. Yeah, why to defend the deen of Allah? Because, you know, she's lying. So I was standing there. There was a group of sisters and this sister in the niqab was standing there. This sister in the niqab, I saw her in maybe one or two occasions in the park. Yeah. With a a brother, then they weren't married, but I would just see them. I don't know the connection. Maybe they weren't. I don't know. I assume the best. Maybe they were. I don't know. But they, I would see them. Yeah. <coughs> That's one two times I've seen her. So all I see is she just look behind me and goes, "Get away from me." So I'm looking at her and I'm thinking like, is she talking to me? Like I'm looking around. Yeah. And wallahi billahi, Allah subhanahu wa taala is my witness. If I'm lying, yeah. And if I am lying, those who are spreading this video. We take an oath by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah destroy the one that's lying. Yeah? Let's let's do that. Openly. I've got no problem. Let's do that, inshallah. If you are going to share that video and trying to insinuate that I did something to the sister, would be Allah, shame on you. Yeah? Shame on you. Alhamdulillah, those who know me, know me. Yeah? And wallahi, billahi wa tillahi, there, will, there is not a single woman, a single girl, that can say that I ever ap approach them or, or 
invited them for zina or any uh, billah or those actions ever if there's anyone out there come out come out and expose me i'm telling you come out and expose me i'll give you full permission you know what i will put it on my channel i will put it on my channel bring the evidences forth and i'll do it alhamdulillah i'm not a hypocrite i'm not someone that says something that does the opposite yes i'm weak yes i might fall into certain sins ah but this never inshallah may allah protect and preserve me from this from the fitna of woman yeah so I was looking, I'm thinking, like, sister, are you talking to me? She goes, yeah, I'm talking to you. Get away from me. So I was thinking, like, I'm, I'm baffled. Like, I'm like, are you okay? Like, what, what, what's your problem? I said, I'm here to listen to this conversation. She started bugging out. No, get away from me. And I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? Now, when it was happening, there was a specific guy in Speaker's Corner who had problems with me. He comes up with a camera out of nowhere. So I'm thinking in my head, hold on a second, bruv. How is this guy just randomly... You know, saw it and just came. So I was thinking, that's what I said to him. Why are you recording? Like, is, is, is this all planned? Yeah? So when she started doing that, I said, hold on a second, sister. I told the brother to go and get the other brothers with the main channels. I said, bring your cameras here. They brought their cameras. <coughs> they didn't release it, yeah? They brought it here and I said, sister, please tell the camera, I'm giving you permission, what I did to you, expose me. I'm giving you permission. You've come now, you've making these allegations, what you've done, what you've done, etc., Here's the cameras. Tell them what I've done. I'm giving you permission. Tell them. Yeah? No, I'm not. No, I'm... One second. How are you making like, allegations, screaming, shouting, but you're not? So, brothers and sisters, in our da'wah, we have a lot of enemies. I've got death threats from ISIS, from Rafida, extreme Rafida. There's, there's footage where the guy, Rafida, goes, I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah? ISIS have threatened me that certain police officers came to give me Osman warning. Yeah? Osman, that's what's called Osman warning. Yeah? Meaning that they have to, by law, yeah, that somebody's threatened your life. The far right... Yeah, the far right have gone to a telephone box and said death threats. I've got death threats from a variety of other people, yeah? And also, for example, these uh, certain other cult, yeah? This group of uh, individual uh, brothers, s who always attack the Muslims, yeah? That's why hijab had a problem with them. So, I always get this. So, any of these guys can send this, send, send this girl. Because I don't know who she is. I have no idea who she is, yeah? Wallahi billahi, I have no idea. I'm, some, I'm thinking, is there a connection with the marriage documentary? Has there been instances where I was getting to know a sister for marriage? Didn't work out, she's got grudges. And I would have been like, I've never done dating or something like that. I would have been like, I'm thinking, what, what is it? So we don't know, we're still investigating. In the marriage documentary, we might find out. Now, let's go to brothers and sisters where all this began. Why did this certain brother who comes to the, speak, who comes to the speaker's corner, why did he find the need to use this because of his dispute with us and specifically Muhammad Hijab. Now, why did he find the need to share this video? Because now what you're doing is you're planting doubt. And this is exactly what a brother that I used to work with did. He started releasing videos after I started working with him. Same pattern with these guys. They're very similar to each other. Very similar. Yeah, kind of. <coughs> releasing videos of these shady dawa characters, impregnating girls, leaving out the billah. And the way he did it, and he was saying, oh, this, these brothers I used to work with. Bruv, in the Dawah scene you used to work with, it was me. Who was it that, who are you pointing at? I would have been like making these false allegations and kind of, some people were saying, Brother Ali, like, I thought he's talking about you. And wallahi, they don't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just because their ego gets hurt and just because we do videos and trying to advise and refute them, yet on the point that stop attacking Muslims and stop calling everybody innovator, innovator, ikhwan, ikhwan, innovator. Just because of that and you don't like it and your ego gets hurt, what you do, you drop your standard to a level of slandering. Slander of adultery. Zina. Awudhu billah. Wallahi awudhu billah. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the same thing happened before. So, now, why did this brother do this? <coughs> Brothers and sisters. It all started. It all started. One day, like we had this instance with a specific brother. He does da'wah. We have no problem with him. In the park, you would never see Ustad Adnan Rashid having a problem with Brother Mansur. Brother Mansur having a problem with Brother Hashim. Brother Hashim having a problem with me. Me having a problem with hijab. Hijab having a problem with another brother. We all go and eat together. Wallahi, all the brothers are cool with each other except this group of brothers. Since they've come to the park, wallahi, they, they, do, they, 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 they associate themselves with us. If they're doing da'wah and we come into the video, it's like they're going to have a heart attack. Like, oh... And they, like, they, they've had this, and this is the reason why they always attack Muslims. Always attack Muslims. So they don't come next to us, they don't eat with us. Yes, they give salam, even that has stopped now. Now they treat us like enemies. They give salam to the Christians, the mushrikeen, yeah? They give salam to them, people who insult the Prophet. Yeah, we'll give you good excuses, they give them good excuses. But when it comes to us, we give them salam. 
Audhu Billah, there was one brother uh, uh, in them, yeah? Uh, I forgot his name, yeah? Beautiful brother. I used to talk to him. I gave him salam, wallah, he looked at me like I'm the dirt of this earth. And this is exactly how I was made to feel with the other brother I used to work with. So you can see how they're so brainwashed that, wallahi, what is me and hijab doing? We're trying to defend the religion of Allah. Hijab destroyed David Wood, the biggest enemy, the, the taghut, these this filth of this earth. He was sh speaking ill of our prophet. Hijab defends the honor of our believer. When Ahmed got attacked in the park, what hijab did, I believe he was right. How he was hijacked, Allah I dis disagree with that. But hijab is always there to defend the honor of a believer. Always defend the honor of a believer. Yeah? While these guys didn't do nothing. Not only that, they attacked Ahmed. They punched Ahmed in the face. And we've got another video which is going to come out in Black Dunia's channel. You're going to see how Ahmed, I interviewed him, he got punched in the face. And I didn't want to release that video because the fitna came, calmed down. Now with this video of accusation, that video is going to be released. You're going to see and hear it from Ahmed, how he was punched in the face by the, uh, these group of brothers. And was it only Ahmed that got punched in the face? No. Nope. Ustad Abdul Rahman Hassan got punched in... Uh, no, Ustad Abdul Rahman Hassan was attacked. A brother in the uh, Prophet's Masjid was slapped. I was physically going to get attacked. They didn't release that footage. Yeah? So this is where this all begins from. And I'm going to tell you so you would understand why they shared this video. <coughs> One day this brother, he's doing da'wah to the Christians. I'm listening to him. He's making points, valid points, etc. But there's something crucial that is very simple that can be done. Yeah, it's a, it's a tafsir and a tafsir that we can destroy the claim of the Christian claiming that we can force people to accept Islam. Very basic, but it didn't come to his mind. I was waiting and I said, let me help him. He's, he's my brother. I differ with him. He treats me harsh. He's been rude to me. He's invited me to his house. He's been good to me as well sometimes. Let's be just here. But I said, let me help him. All I did is get my iPad and I said, Aki, use it. The guy's face color change, uncomfortable. I don't know why, because he seems to me be I'm a jahil, yeah. I'm ignorant. He's very knowledgeable, yeah. So he felt. I think his ego got hurt because I was helping him, and he deems me to be an innovator. So all I did was help him in a debate against the Christian. That's all I did. I said, Aki, there you go, yeah. And what he did was he started uh, after that video when the Christchurch attack happened. He done a video refuting me. This Ali Dawa, he's a Ikhwani, sister of innovators. And I'm thinking, bruv, what did I do to you? What, what have I done to you? You would always call me names and etc. and stuff, and I ignored you and I assumed the best as a brother. I didn't want fitna in the park. Now you've come to a video doing publicly. I said, nah, enough is enough. Yeah? We said, enough is enough. So what we did is we said, let's clarify our position. And we said, look, if you're going to be like that, then we'll, 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 we'll retaliate. It all started from their brothers and sisters. And from there onwards, we was getting attacked. Uh, they, were, they were doing videos against us. And then what hijab done is hijab, this time they start attacking hijab. Yeah? Start attacking hijab, calling him names, he's this, he's that. So hijab said, look, you've been quiet. We've got a lot to expose on you guys. We have them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now that you're doing this, hold on a second. So what hijab did was this. Hijab went and said, let's research into these people. What are they doing? Yeah? The hypocrisy. The hypocrisy they have. Now, these guys' hypocrisy is unreal. This same brother, his teacher, his so-called teacher, Abu Iyad, yeah, accused another guy who was a literal evil doer, ISIS, he, he was ISIS, terrorist, yeah, and I'm not using that connotation they use on Muslims, yeah, terrorism has all kinds of backgrounds. The one who carried, <coughs> carried out the London Bridge attacks, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, he was being accused of committing zina, yeah, committing zina. By this, uh, by the newspapers, yeah? Now, what he did is evil. We're not here to defend him. But if there's something that's wrongly attributed to him, we're defending what's been attributed to him wrongly. We're not defending the guy. The guy, what he did was wrong against Islam. Haram. This guy goes and accuses him and says, yeah, he used to commit zina. How was the billah? And you guys are talking about the Quran, the Sunnah, Quran, Sunnah 24-7? How are you casually accusing a believer of zina? Then I'm thinking to myself, hold on a second. This brother's teacher is this guy Abu Iyad. So it seems very clear the accusation of zina, where it comes from, because his teacher does it. His teacher accuses people of zina, where well, you need to bring four witnesses or you get lashed in public, bruv. Lashed, lashed. You get humiliated. You know, your testimony never gets accepted. So, so now I'm thinking, ah, this makes sense. So now this guy does the same thing, insinuating, sharing this video again. Yeah? Because he has a problem with hijab. Because there's a problem with hijab, he shares this video trying to show, oh, look, your boy Ali Dawa, look what sisters are, you know, accusing him and you're not doing nothing about it. I would be like, let's say argument's sake hijab was wrong what he did. Let's suppose argument's sake. 
Is that right for you to accuse and slander me and insinuate that I did something to the sister, Abu Billah? Do you not have no shame? Have some shame. Wallahi, like, have some shame. I know people don't believe this. I know myself. Wallahi, I know myself. What's sad is that you're dropping to that level. I don't believe hijab was wrong. He brought evidences. He brought evidences that you guys get prevent money. The same money you get from the government. Prevent is an organization, a body of the government that always attacks Muslims, marginalizes them, and always, you know, uh, 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 profiles them. Yeah? And you guys get money from them? You get funded by them? Why to, uh, you're, you're fighting against extremism? Doing what? Attacking believers, attacking Muslims, calling them names. Like, I don't go to that level. I could have started the video like you guys and say you're a donkey, you're a camel, you turn into a zoo, you're a zebra, you're a uh, hippopotamus, you're a dinosaur. I'm not going to do that. Wallahi, it's not the character of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And I try my best to have that. And you guys are believers. I'm not going to come here, call you names, you're a donkey, you're this, you're that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to call you names. There's brothers in your group, wallahi, I give them salam every time I see them. And they look at me like I'm a piece of dirt. Not all of them. Some of them, alhamdulillah, they treat me good. They're good to me. May Allah bless them. They're not that brainwashed to that level. Yeah? And you're saying this is the sunnah? How you treat us Muslims who are defending the... We're trying to defend the honor of the believer. And all you're doing is attacking believers. And it made sense when you get money, you guys, s pubs, Yeah? You guys know who I'm talking about. s pubs Who have been attacking Muslims. Sheikh Tahir White. Sheikh Muslim al Abad Came to your teacher. Your teacher who's not even that knowledgeable. Yeah? He came to your teacher. He came to your teacher. And he said, what's your problem with Sheikh Tahir White? Why has he done to you? Sheikh Musa al Abad said, he couldn't say nothing, he had nothing. If this is not jealousy and envy, what is it? Somebody who's been praised by the scholars, which we believe is a Salafi, yeah? And this word has been hijacked by these groups, yeah? Somebody who's balanced, Sheikh Abu Usama Zahabi, yeah? These people who you have slandered, and wallahi Allah humiliated you at the hands of a mushrik, a Christian, paper boy. Paper boy put you in your place. Here in this video, brothers, and watch this video, and you see in this video how this guy who's slandering me, yeah, who's slandering me, who was humiliated. Because this guy's quoting Sheikh Abu Osama al and he said, ah, Sheikh Abu Osama, he's a chicken. Wallahi, look how Allah humiliated that you had to run away like a chicken when he asked your qualifications. Yeah? When he asked your qualifications, you keep attacking hijab, attacking all the Muslims. And what happened? When he asked you for your qualifications, you did a <laughs> runner. Just as when you saw Mufti Munir, you did a left turn. When real people of knowledge came, whew, you don't want to know. And you have no qualifications. You have no qualifications to do tabdi call people innovators, people of the hellfire. You have no qualifications and you do that. And look how Allah humiliated. Watch this video, brothers and sisters. This is he's his, alive. He, yeah, he's alive. He's yeah. an American I'm national. Sorry. He's what? And an American, American national. He's what? <laughs> he's an American national <laughs> who studied at the University of Medina in Saudi Arabia. Ah, right? Okay, okay. So he's qualified. No, but, he's not qualified because why? So Abu Usama Dhabi okay. is like chicken to him. So what's your qualification? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> what's your qualification? If you allow me to finish, I will okay, speak. Okay. Okay. I just want that one question because I'm going to show you bro, bro. what he said. No, no, no. I just want I'll that I'll... No, just what are your qualifications? Because... So over there, brothers and sisters, this brother, just because I helped him in a debate, his ego got hurt, he attacked us, attacked hijab, so hijab went and did some research. He brought evidence, he brought, like, just Muslims as a testimony, yeah? And what did they do? They got upset. Oh, you're slandering your line. Oh, subhanAllah, when you guys have been attacking Muslims, attacking them continuously, for no reason, but because you've been deemed them to be innovators, when you're not even qualified, yourself, your teacher Abu Iyad, Abu Khatija, who are these people? What is your qualifications? Please give us your qualification. You always say refer to the people of knowledge. But who are you? Where did you study? You think you say I'm a jahil. Ali needs dawah. Well, I need dawah. I've never said I don't. Alhamdulillah, I'm not arrogant. Don't forget, Shaitan was the most knowledgeable. He worshipped Allah everywhere. His knowledge didn't save him because he was arrogant. I can cure my problem with knowledge. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm ignorant. Wallahi, there's a cure for my ignorance. I study, alhamdulillah. Yeah? Not study the way you want me to. Alhamdulillah, I study my teachers. Yeah? And you can see from my videos, have I ever done a slip up, uh, done a mistake in Aqidah? Show me once, 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 one video. The person that you call Jahil, no problem. Have I ever done a, a, a mistake? Never. These terms, these words, look, look, wallahi, they, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit thick skinned. They, they don't bother me. Yeah? Ali needs dawah, wallahi, Ali needs dawah. You spoke the haq. And it's these statements that, alhamdulillah, keep me humble and keep me, alhamdulillah, in my place. I stick to my lane. But someone like you who is not qualified, doing tabdi, how, how are you doing this? You're not qualified. Your teacher's not qualified. You, I, I believe you are more qualified than Abu Yad and Abu Khadija put together. 
How are they your teachers when you, you, you know more than them? And even what you know doesn't benefit you because you become arrogant. Yeah? You look down on people, talk down against people. My matter is very clear. Let's go back to the people. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hujurat, uh, in Surah Hujurat, verse uh, 9. And if two factions among the believers should fight, then make settlement between the two. But if one of them oppresses the other, then fight against the one that oppresses until it returns to the ordinance of Allah. And if it and if it returns, then make settlement between them in justice and act justly. Indeed, indeed, Allah loves those who act justly. Believes, the believers are but brothers, so make settlement between your brothers and fear Allah that you may receive mercy. Wallahi, we treat you guys like brothers. When I see them, I try to give them salam. But wallahi, they oppress me like the brother I used to work with before. Stop giving me salam. Start calling me names. Yeah? Is this from the sunnah? Is this from the salaf? Treating your brothers like that. Is this from the salaf? Please tell me, is this from the salaf? Yeah? Giving greeting, greeting people who insult the Prophet. Greeting the Christians and the Jews, there's no problem, I greet them as well. But when it comes to your brother, you humiliate, you call names, donkey, this, that, he needs that, uh, acting righteous, self-righteous. Well, I fear Allah. Remember shaitan. Remember shaitan, the most righteous man. His righteousness and his knowledge did not benefit him because he had arrogance in his heart. And Allah says, all you have believed, let not a people ridicule another people. Perhaps they may be better than them. Wallahi, subhanallah, look at this. Nor let the women ridicule other women. Perhaps they may be better than them. And do not insult one another and do not call each other by offensive nicknames. Wretched is the name of disobedience after one's faith. And whoever does not repent, then it is those who are the wrongdoers. All you have believed, avoid, avoid much negative assumptions. The slander that you are trying to spread about me with that sister. Yeah? Indeed, some assumption is a sin. And do not spy or backbite each other. Would one of you like to eat the flesh of his brother when he's dead? You would detest it. And fear Allah, indeed Allah is accepting repentance and merciful. Brothers and sisters, I want to end on this note. I'm not here and I'm, Wallah, it's not in my character and I try my best. I'm not trying to act super righteous here. Yeah? I don't like calling names. Yeah, I see these people as my brothers still. The brothers, the brothers that I used to work with and people amongst them who used to call me names and these brothers. Wallah, he has a revert brother. And a lot of reverts, when they come to the deen, they leave. Why? Because of this disgusting, vile attitude. If I wasn't strong, I would have felt oppressed and think, you know what, forget this religion. And wallahi, this is what a lot of people do. And you can blame them. Oh, emotional reasons. Like some people, look, I, I have got some like emotional reasons. I have got some as well. I'm not, don't get it twisted. But I'm talking about sometimes when you're oppressing a Muslim, ridiculing them, calling them names for what? Because you deem them innovative. But who are you? So brothers and sisters, Allah's kalam is clear. And Allah sent Surah Nur to defend the honor of a believer. And inshallah this brother repents, he has to do public repentance. Because this matter is going to go to the ulama, we're going to go to the scholars. We're going to go to scholars for two things. And I challenge them. I challenge both of these brothers. The brother that I used to work with and them, they're both very similar. One's s public, one's s public reject. One tries to be like them. Yeah, one's, one's s public, one's s public reject. Yeah? We go to the ulama. Sheikh Muslim, uh, Sheikh Muslim al -Abad. Uh, Sheikh, uh, what's your lapas? I'm going to go to them for two things. Are these people who's qualified to do uh, tabdi? And number two, spreading information and this video about me that I would have been I did something to the sister. This is slander. And these are going to be questions. Don't think, look, we, we, we know these scholars. We're going to go to them. We're going to ask them questions, yeah? And you're going to be in trouble now because you have to publicly repent. Like your teacher, Abu Iyad, who accused another believer who's dead of zina. And you guys are the same guys who boycotted one of your teachers. You had 26 of them. All of them are innovators, innovators, innovators. You left with two, three. Uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hadi, if I'm not mistaken, yeah? That he accused somebody of committing zina. You boycotted him. Oh, how did he do that? And you guys are the same, like, the hypocrisy. You, you, you say, oh, no, he's d d done this. What he did was wrong. Okay, if you claim it's wrong, okay. Then you're doing the same thing, accusing people. And you're the same person, and look how they mock the issue of zina. This is so light for them. I can remember when we had this dispute, he came and said to me, Oh, go and do your videos of zina. How was the billah? Allah SWT says, Well, attaqlabu zina, don't even come near it. And you're mocking it, like, hey, go, go. Uh, it's like me saying, Oh, go and do reminders about tawheed and shit. Go, go, go. You're mocking what Allah has legislated. Don't go near it. And I'm doing videos to encourage the youngsters to stay away from it, and you're mocking me. Go do videos on uh, zina. That's why it makes sense. And you mocking the issue of zina, your teacher accusing other people of zina, and now you're doing the same. Why? Because you have a dispute with us, specifically hijab. Wallahi, hijab brought evidences. Watch the videos, brothers and sisters. These guys get paid by prevent. Yes, they get paid by prevent. A body that attacks Muslims. And these guys have attacked Muslims. Myself, Ahmed who got punched in the face, Sheikh uh, Abdurrahman Hassan, 
two, three years ago when I used to study with him, he was grabbed by the collars at the, uh, 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 another brother in the masjid, Abu Marim, if I'm not mistaken, who was slapped in his face in the masjid. Can you believe it? The Prophet, peace be upon him. And a few other instances I cannot uh, remember. Yeah? They always attack Muslims. You need to ask yourself a question. Getting paid by prevent who attack who always attack Muslims and then these guys always attack Muslims. We need to ask ourselves questions. Who are these people? Why are they doing this? Why do they have a million pounds in their account? So brothers and sisters, the story here is this. That because of personal grudges and ego, I was brought to seem like I did something to the sister. And Allahi, we ask, I will challenge him. Let's meet in public and take the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if you're seeing what you said and don't come and then you start panicking and releasing a video straight away after we did a sick video, yeah? The brother did a sick edit. The edit got you shook when you saw it. Like, oh, bro, like, I need to do it. You, you know, our editor, our editor got you shook. Yeah, when you saw him editing, you said, yo, fam, I need to do, I need to go and do a clarification video. I didn't mean that. Yeah, you panicked. Yeah? You panicked, yeah? You did a clarification video. Oh, I didn't mean that. No. If there's a video going, imagine if I did that to you. There's some sister accusing you. And I can't play the video and I go, look, look, I'm not seeing he did that. Brother, what are you planting in the people's minds? Just like that brother I used to work with, yeah? He did the same thing. Show you the characters in that was scene. Fear Allah because you're spreading this like it is true. And you have no evidence. Some sister coming and accusing me, who are you? But maybe in the marriage documentary we might make a connection. We'll do some research. Who was this sister? Why was she so upset with me? Brothers and sisters, inshallah, may Allah bless you guys for watching this. Sorry it was long, but we had to give you a context. We ask these brothers to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and come to the correct path, inshallah, which is the path. I'm not saying you're an innovator. We're just saying that come. And brothers and sisters, this cult-like mentality, there's a whole PDF written. And Sheikh Musan al abad had sayings in there as well. <coughs> Watch and read it. I'm going to download the PDF. How these cult members, how if you're against them, the the loyalty is if you're with them they're with you if you're against them they're against you this is a cult mentality brothers and sisters and the salaf using the word salaf the salaf are free from this behavior wallahi they're free the salaf were balanced alhamdulillah not extreme everybody's an innovator so may Allah bless you guys brothers and sisters forgive me for making this so long this is the context part one of the documentary is going to be mad we're going to be destroying haram relationships and yes this brother who mocked me for talking about zina wallahi I'm not going to stop I've waged war against Zina and inshallah in the power of the documentary brothers and sisters we're going to show you the damages and how you should break it up in your haram relationship and pursue the right way the halal pure way of getting married inshallah and inshallah brothers and sisters part one of the documentary is nearly ready may Allah bless you guys for watching it till next time share this with your friends and family and defend the believer of honor the, the honor of a believer brothers and sisters if anybody has this negative assumption clarify with them inshallah um, which I highly doubt handle that only People of fitna would believe this. To the next time, brother, says sorry. I've said that ten times. Assalamu alaikum, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And um, the only thing I did to the sister was I didn't release the marriage documentary.